Welcome to another day in pre-K with Miss Susie. Hi, pre-kinders. Welcome back. Let's start off with our Days of the Week song so we know what today is. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Sing with me now. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. All right, if yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. It is Monday, March 22nd, so it has been 22 days of March, and we are learning about balls again this week. So let's look at our question of the day. Our question of the day is, what sport is this ball used for? Let me know. All right, after you are done answering the question of the day, for Mong, you're going to learn and review the number six of Miss Yo and Mong. And then when you are done with that, we have a new read aloud book this week. Our read aloud book this week is called The Three Little Pigs. All right, when you are done listening to the story, I want you to work on your letter sound card for literacy. If you don't remember what that looks like, this is what the letter sound card looks like. And remember, read the picture name and then read the letter sound and point to each as you read it so you can learn your letter names and your letter sounds okay, and then make sure you record yourself saying a few of your letters for me to hear okay all right when you are done with that for math today you're going to find some coins and you can find any coins but i want you to find at least 20 coins if you if you can and then i want you to sort them so you can find some pennies, some nickels, some dimes, some quarters, and make sure you have about 20 or, or more if you want. And then I want you to sort them into different groups. So pennies go together, put all the nickels together, put all the dimes together, and then put all the quarters together. And if you don't have enough of one coin, it's okay. It might be a coin by itself, and that's okay. I just want to see if you can sort and match the coins into different groups. And when you're done, you can take a picture. All right, when you are done with math for large motor today, you're going to do some spinning. You're gonna spin around as fast as you can for 10 seconds, and then you're going to stop and make sure you don't fall over or tip over. So try to keep the balance and then try spinning the other way around so that you don't get too dizzy too. Try spinning around three or four times and then you can stop. All right, when you are done with your large motor activity today, for app time, you can go into your tablet and you can play ABC Mouse. And then if you want to, you can go onto IXL and complete any skills that you haven't mastered it. And then when you're done with that, if you have time, you can read two or three books from Epic. And that's it. All right. Goodbye, boys and girls. Have a great day.